tired. I am in a slightly weird position. If you can't tell, I'm on some stairs. I have moved to a new bedroom. This was going to be my yoga studio, YouTube, zen space. It's now become my... I'm gonna sleep here in space because of unforeseen circumstances slash slightly predicted circumstances. Anyways, I have no idea what I'm gonna record. Actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna record. It just came to me, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about my tattoos and piercings because I've never done that and I just got two new tattoos. One of them is not finished yet. <sighs> I went wine tasting today. Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the very first one that I got. I was 18 years old, I was still in high school. My best friend said he wanted to get an eyebrow piercing, so we went to this tattoo parlor. And we're standing there looking at all these drawings, we're like, oh my gosh, let's get tattoos. So we totally got tattoos instead. And we walked down, I'm like, you have an eye don't have an eyebrow piercing, you have a tattoo. I have a tattoo. What just happened? So basically, I chose a lightning bolt. The reason I chose lightning bolt is not because of Harry Potter, even though I do like Harry Potter a lot. I am a Slytherin. What? What? Oh, yeah. I think that makes an S. That makes an S. Yeah, because it makes it backwards. Yep, that's an S. I just drew, like I used to doodle. I mean, everyone doodles in high school. So I used to doodle a lot. I would doodle hearts with lightning bolts in them. I would draw clouds with lightning bolts coming from them. I would draw lightning bolts. I just drew lightning bolts a lot. So I was like, what is the most part that I get then a lightning bolt on me, so I had a lightning bolt put on my lower abdomen. And some people have said it looks like I've been kissed by Voldemort, ha ha ha, or um, that it points to inappropriate areas. So, you know, I was 18, poor decision. Do I regret it? No, it was a fun time, and it was my first tattoo, and it's what got me addicted to tattoos and ink. So, I have no regrets. The second tattoo that I got it's actually Bible verse. It is in Spanish. It says Mas que vencedores. It's 8:37, I think. I always get confused with the verse that it is. Um, basically, I was homeschooled in 10th grade. It was on my Spanish book uh, because it was a Christian-based course, and I really liked that phrase. And the more I read and the more I learned, it was basically like, you can accomplish anything. Like you are a conqueror. You can. You got this. You can do this through anything, through Christ. So it's just like. Yeah, I am more than a conqueror. I want to kick some butt. And I got my first tattoo at this place that is now shut down um, for a good reason. So then I went to Underground Ink, where is where I get all of my tattoos now. Um, so they did my Bible verse. Um, they also did my Cladol ring, which is my third tattoo. Cladol ring was my third tattoo. Um, I try to make it a little bit different than a normal Cladol ring because when typically when I've seen those online, it's just like a very basic cartoony kind of style of the heart, the hands, and the crown. Um, I am Irish, so I wanted to bring out my Irish roots. So I got my Cladol ring, but I had them kind of make it a little more realistic. And also I was like, you know what? I want it created like stone, like it's almost like a statue on me, but I want you to make little cracks in it because the Cladol ring, if you don't know, the heart means love, obviously. The crown means loyalty and the hands means friendship. So basically you are a loving, loyal, friendly person. Those are all three really important aspects to my life. But in all those aspects, you're gonna have some flaws. We're not perfect, we are people. So I was like, I want it in stone because they're all important, they're lifelong, they're very firm, solid meanings to me. But I want cracks in them to show I have flaws. Hold on, that one, that one done. This one! You've probably seen this one in videos. If you've seen my DIY temporary top two videos, then you've seen this tattoo. So this is my karma tattoo. All of my tattoos basically are meanings or important things except for my lightning bolt. They are important philosophies and things in my life. So I'm a firm believer in karma. I greatly believe that what you put out into this world, you're gonna receive back. So if you put out good things, you're gonna receive good. If you put out negative, you're gonna receive negative. It's just how the world and its systems work. So I got the word karma on me, but then I first had it done. The A did not look like a G, but everyone else thought it looked like a G. So it got me frustrated, so I had it redone. But at the same time that I had it redone and added some more swirls and effects, I also added the arrow, which the arrow just kind of reminds me just to keep moving forward, you know, don't let things hold you back, just you always want to move forward, never go backwards. And um, it's also more fun, I'm like, karma! And I have an actual arrow pointing to my destination. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have karma, kind of thing, so. 
you know, newest one that is to thine own self be true. Um, I got it on my arm just because I've wanted something on my lower arm for a while now. It's not completely finished. I want to put some little flowers, like kind of like a watercolor, little tiny flowers there. I'm not completely sure what I want yet. So I knew I wanted the wording, so I was like, let's just go ahead and get the wording done. Let's let that heal, and then we'll go back and do the flowers at some other points. It's not finished, so when it's finished, I'll make sure to show it off in a vlog, of course. My other one that I got same day was I got one on my finger because why the hell not on your finger right am i right i think i'm right and for those of you who don't know it's actually the symbol for so worth loving um, which is one of my favorite local brands they have started in atlanta they are expanding across the nation slash maybe even internationally they have an awesome message about self-worth and loving yourself and just accepting yourself and your flaws and everything um so I, it's just something the last two years that i've really become a firm believer in and I love their message and I will support them in any way I can um, and I supported them by tattooing them on my body forever and as far as my piercings are really simple I've got my nose pierced I got that when I was 17 I got my nose pierced it was just a stud um, just wanted to do it kind of thing uh, no real story behind that my mom went with me I cried the guy who actually did my lightning bolt tattoo at the, at the um, tattoo parlor that got shut down and scarred everyone he actually did it um, which is good that I didn't get an infection or anything, but he did it and I was just like mom hold my hand He's like I'm not gonna put a note like a needle through your nose with your mom holding your hand Like you either do this without her or you don't do it at all. And I was like, okay, just do it And like he apparently did it and I didn't know he did it. I was like, what are you gonna do? He's like, it's already done. Like you're, you're done. I'm like, oh, and I stopped crying. I was just like, all right Well, that didn't feel bad. Like I don't know what I was crying over. So I totally didn't feel it I've had my ears pierced like normal most normal females have their Ears pierced. If you don't have your ears pierced, it's okay. I'm not saying you're not normal. It's just a lot of people have their ears pierced. I got mine down when I was six at like Walmart. Um, I've just had them ever since. I've, I hardly wear earrings though. This earring piercing though, it's my Tragus. I love it. Um, it's not my favorite, but I got, because this is my favorite, because I can now wear my hoop. Um, but I got this piercing actually, an <laughs> ex-boyfriend bought it for me down in Atlanta. There's a shop down in Little Five Points and I had this ugly, it was like an eyebrow piercing that you could pull out like way out of your ear. It was really obnoxious um, and I couldn't wear headphones ever because of it. So I got one that was way smaller, a little diamond, and it just fits so much more nicely. I don't have a lot of piercings more so. I have more tattoos obviously than anything, especially now because now I have six. So you know, I think I'm like slowly capping out. Like once I get the flowers, I think I'm going to be done. Um, but I say that and then I'm like, oh, I could do this behind my ear. I could do this. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's addicting. So if you don't have tattoos and you want a tattoo, one, it's expensive. Two, it's addicting. If you think you're just going to get one, you're probably not just going to get one. Uh, three, really think about it for a month. All of my tattoos except for my lightning bolt, I've thought about for at least two to three months before I've gotten it. And I have not regretted a single one since. Um, so even though spur of the moment can be fun and everything, it's on your body permanently. Yes, they have cool technology and it's amazing. It hurts like hell though, apparently. So if you don't want to have to go through that and waste more money because you got something that you rejected, just don't do it. My favorite, last thing, my favorite stereotype because of my tattoos is um, people think I'm a wild child because of my tattoos. They think I go out and party a lot and drink and everything. And most Saturday nights you will find me on Netflix or reading. Um, I <laughs> do not party. I don't, I've never had the mentality that I want to party. I guess I did go through a summer where I was like, yeah, I'm going to play some beer pong with friends. You just like one game and I was like, I'm done. I don't know. So just because you have tattoos does not make you a party animal. Ignore what people say. Be your own person. I just like having my philosophies shown in written ink. You can't see them because I have a long sleeve on. I just like having art. I love art. I'm a creative person. I like having it on me. And maybe my grandfather was a tattoo man at the circus. So I'm just following up in family tradition, I guess. So, you know, I just will not be that tattooed. Uh, I actually think I have more tattoos than him except he had a, like an eagle across his chest. I'm not getting an eagle across my chest. This was a really last minute video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it actually I'm not sorry if you didn't enjoy it because if you didn't enjoy it then you just shouldn't be subscribed to my channel and that's okay I'm not gonna fault you for that because you're gonna like what you like and that's cool thank you guys so much for watching if you like this kind of videos make sure to give it a big old thumbs up subscribe for more videos every Wednesday you can follow me on all my magical social media links at Comptrovert and I will talk to you guys super super soon bye <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow.
how to turn the timer, just so you know. Oh, you suck. So 